All right, team, let's keep this short and sweet. So it is 7.14 a.m. It is May 22nd, 2020. It is a Friday. I normally don't perform very well on Fridays, and I think that's just because I get a little anxious that, you know, we're not going to be able to trade for the next two days. But today was a little bit different. All positions closed on both you guys and DGAS. Closed a little bit over $2,100, and the market hasn't even been opened for over an hour. I do wanna let you know that I have a total of 32 orders. That does not mean 32 day trades, but I was trading during the pre-market session. And I wanna share with you where I made a majority of my money, especially with DGAS. I made about 1,300 of that off of one specific move. And this is not something that I um, you know, anticipated all the way. I saw that natural gas was approaching a previous high. So as you guys can see, natural gas was pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, and it was approaching highs at 1.87. I made it very clear to the Learn Plant Profit Group that, hey, natural gas is becoming overbought. It's showing signs of resistance and it's testing this EMA line. So once it began to break below the EMA line, I added more to my position on DGAS because like you guys know, when natural gas goes down, DGAS goes up. And of course, this was during the pre-market session. So once this thing began to sell off, based off of pre Previous lows, I anticipated this to, to you know find a support level right around the middle view up. But once it aggressively began to sell off, it just started to make lower lows and lower lows. And I was in with about 200 shares and I sold 150 of my shares right here, right around 1.85 as it broke below the middle view up. I had 50 shares left. So one of the things that I'm trying to share with you is I wanted to make sure that I do my part that regardless of how much it was going in my favor that I do my part in locking in profits when it makes sense to me and to not get greedy, especially on a Friday as I tend to not perform the best on Friday. I know that a lot of people say, you know, let the runners run. So what I began to do is I let 50 shares open on my DGAS trade and 50 shares is not a crazy amount of money in comparison to what I normally trade with as I have 200 shares of DGAS, but it's enough money that I can still make more money, but not so much that if it does end up finding a reversal that I don't give back a majority of the profits that I already made. And that's what I want to share with you. It's you always want to make sure that your position size is something that you can manage for yourself and your experience level and everyone is different. So as this thing began to aggressively sell off, it was approaching 1.84 that based off of previous support levels, it Again, this is a general support range as you guys can see here. So this is where I decided to sell all of my position on DGAS as you guys can see that it was when it was approaching 290 to highs of 292. And what I then began to do is as it began to consolidate and find signs of a support, this is when I began to trade live with the Learn Plan Profit Group. So as this thing began to indicate signs of an uptrend, I added more to my position size. I was in with nearly 1500 shares on UGAS, which again, isn't a ton of money. I decided to lock in profits as it did a lot of consolidation around this middle VWAP uh, in comparison to where you guys was sitting. So uh, with that alone, I was able to lock in a little bit over $698. And that wasn't just with that first initial trade, uh, but that was also with the second push that it just had. On top of that, I made $1,400 off of DGAS. And again, that wasn't just with one trade. I was up 1,300, I think, uh, just with that one trade alone. And then once it sold off and it found a support, I re-entered DGAS only with 50 shares, I think 30 to 50 shares. And then I locked in profits once again for a total of $1,400 profit on DGAS and a total of nearly $700 profit on UGAS. And I decided to lock in profits on UGAS right here. I think this is my last order. Uh, I sold my 500 shares at 1536. So I got 500 shares. I wasn't in very aggressive, but again, it continued to run. I just want to make sure that I share with you that I decided to buy and sell where it made sense to me, not to try to make the most money, not always to you know try to be greedy or try to chase anything, but where it makes sense. So make sure that your actions today are something that your future self can thank you for. So again, all together on the day, closed it, $2,100 profit, very pleased. Again, a goal is something to work towards and that's something that you necessarily have to hit every single day at an amazing time. I just finished the live trading session with the Learn Plan Profit Group. As you guys can see that right on over here. And what we wanted to remind you is that as we're approaching the Memorial Day weekend, if you've ever wanted to be able to watch me trade live, first, click the second link down below. It's gonna send you on over to our welcome page and you can learn a little bit more about what the Learn Plan Profit Group has to offer and what it's like 
to watch me trade live if you've never experienced it before. So make sure that you click and watch this video if you want to get a taste of what it's like to watch me trade live. Once and if you are ready to join our Learn Plan Profit Group over the weekend for the Memorial Day weekend, we're gonna be running a sell. It's gonna be $50 off and it's gonna be for the first 20 people. So that's gonna be the link right below the second link. You can redeem your $50 off coupon and you can join us and for the live trading session that we will have as soon as Tuesday since the stock market's gonna be closed on Monday in observance to Memorial Day. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. Don't forget to stay connected. We do run the largest free Facebook group in the world for those who trade in the stock market with over 273,000 members. And that's gonna be that first link down below. Feel free to share any comments and thoughts down in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like always, let's make sure that we in the year on a green note. Take it easy team.